Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. This is Measures of Position Part 3. We're going to talk about deciles and quartiles. Let's start with deciles. Deciles are the nine values denoted D1, D2, and all the way up to D9 along the scale that divides a data set into 10 approximately equal parts. So if you can imagine that this is a data set and these are the 10 parts of the data set, then the deciles are D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, D7, D8, and D9. So it takes nine of them to divide the data into 10 chunks. Now since we've divided the data into 10 pieces, each piece is a tenth or 10% of the data set. So we can observe that decile D1 is the same as percentile P10. Each decile corresponds to a percentile. P10, P20, P30, P40, P50, P60, P70, P80, and P90. So if you watched part two of this video set, you would have learned how to find a percentile. That's how we're gonna find deciles. We're gonna find the corresponding percentile. So for example, if we have a set of test scores from a particular class and there are 30 of them and we want to find the sixth decile, then what we would do is we would find the corresponding percentile. Since the sixth decile is the 60th percentile, we find 60% of 30 to figure out how many of the data items are in the bottom 60%. 0 0.60 times 30 is 18. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 of the data values are in the bottom 60%. We want the data value right above that, which is going to be 82, the 19th item in the set. So 82 is considered our sixth decile which by the way could be note, denoted as D6. So we could write D6 equals 82. Now let's talk about quartiles. Quartiles divide the data into four equal parts. We call the quartiles Q1, Q2, and Q3. It only takes three values to divide the set of data into four big chunks. Now you might think, that Q1 being above a quarter of the data is going to correspond to the percentile 25. And you wouldn't be wrong. And in different books, we have different ways of finding quartiles, but in our book, we do something else to find the quartiles. Instead of comparing the quartiles to percentiles, we're going to make a different observation that for any data set, where you have the data ranked in order from least to greatest, the second quartile, Q2, is right in the middle. That means that it's the median of the data set. We can also observe that Q1 is a kind of median. The first quartile, Q1, is the median of all the items below Q2. And similarly, Q3 is the median of all the items above Q2. So we're gonna use the idea of finding a median to find our second quartile and then repeat the process for Q1 and Q3. Although we don't have a formula for the median of a data set, we know that the position of the median is always n plus 1 over 2, where n is the number of data values in the set. So for example, if we wanted to find the three quartiles for 30 scores on a particular math test, we could start by finding Q2, which is the median of the entire set. We would do this by determining the position of Q2, n plus 1 over 2. Since there are 30 data values in the set, 30 plus 1 over 2 is 15.5 or 15 and a half position. This tells us that the median is between the 15th and the 16th positions. So we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Halfway in between 78 and 79 is the median. 
Even though there's not actually a data value there, we're going to find the value halfway between 78 and 79, which is 78 and a half. And you can always find the data value between two given values by adding them together and dividing by two. So Q2 is gonna be 78 plus 79 over two or 78.5. That's the second quartile, but we still have to find Q1 and Q3. To do this, we make a note that Q2 is 78.5, which divides our data set exactly in half. Here's the bottom half of our data set, and the rest is the top half. There are 15 numbers above and 15 numbers below Q2. The position of a median in any set of size 15 is gonna be 15 plus one over two or eight, the eighth position. So amongst the bottom 15, we're looking at the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The eighth position is 72. So Q1 is 72. In the upper group, the eighth position is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's 88. That's the median of the top 15 numbers, so that's gonna be Q3. So we've found all three quartiles. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.